What's happening, everyone? Have you ever wondered why you make the decisions that you make? You know, life is made up of decisions. Everything that we do, every direction that we decide to go, every career path that we decide to go, the person we decide to marry, whether we decide to buy the house with the picket fence, which neighborhood to move into, what movie to go to, right? I mean, as little and as insignificant things are, we're always making decisions in our lives. And have you ever sat back and thought, why do I make the decision to do that versus this? And I think a lot of times the decisions that we make are framed by how we view the world, how we see the world through our lenses, our rose colored glasses, so to speak, in our lives. And so decisions can be broken down or why we make decisions or even don't make decisions. Because remember, when you don't make a decision, if you're indecisive and you decide not to make a decision, that's making a decision. You're just not doing something about it, but that is a decision. Don't make any mistake about that. So what are some things that would cause us to make decisions, right? Um, one would be money. If you were deciding, wanted to maybe start a business or you wanted to go to college, you would say, I really can't do that because I don't have the money. So money forces us to make uh, some decisions. And sometimes we have to make decisions based on the, the, the amount of zeros after the one in our bank account, because we don't have a ton of money that we can decide to go to this college or decide to start this business. Uh, we make decisions on time, right? Um, you know, I don't have the time or I'm too old or I'm not old enough or I don't have time. We all have the same 24 hours in a day and if you work a job and let's say you work eight hours, 10 hours a day and you sleep six to eight hours a day, you still have a window of time that you can work on a side hustle. You can work on something, you can work on yourself, you can work on your business. But a lot of times people decide to use that time for things that maybe are not productive. Maybe you want to spend two hours watching Netflix. And again, there's nothing wrong with that but you can't tell somebody you don't have time to do something if you're absorbing your time with things that maybe are not as important as possibly doing the thing that is important and that's working on your craft working in your business working on yourself working in your relationships whatever the case may be uh, another decision would maybe you're married you know you make a decision based on a spouse you know i can't do this because I'm married or I can't do this because I don't, if I won't have time, which I already talked about to, hang, to spend time with my spouse. I encourage you young people, folks that you, that you're, you, you're not married presently. You don't have any children. You know, right now you are making decisions that only involve you. If it's just you, if you have a wife, you have a spouse, if you have kids, then now all of a sudden those decisions are rippling effects that affect your family. And so I was 20 years old and I got married. So now every decision I made after I'm 20 is now not just affecting me, but it's affecting my wife. And, and, and I had kids, started to have kids when I was 22. So now I have children that I have to think about every decision that I make, every career move that I, every, every time I want to spend money, I can't just go out and blow money on things for me when I have a child and a wife to feed at home. So, Understand that every decision is made based on, on those. And we can go on a lot of different buckets, but the one that I wanted to spend the most time on over the next couple of minutes here with you is the bucket of self-value. We make decisions in our lives about how we value ourselves. Let's kind of roll with this for a minute. So how do you view yourself when it comes to maybe your health, right? Do you see yourself as healthy and do you eat the right foods? Do you go to the gym and work out? Do you move your body? Do you get those things going on? Or do you not value yourself from the perspective that health doesn't matter to you? Do you not value yourself when you look in the mirror and you look at your body? Do you value how you look or, or are you disgusted with how you look? There was a book called Psycho-Cybernetics, which was written many, many years ago. And it was a plastic surgeon that did surgery on folks and he would literally, he was one of the, one of the beginning stage uh, doctors that did plastic surgery. So if you know, you had something on your face, you wanted a nose job, you wanted to change the way you appeared because you didn't like it, you could do that. And what he found was, is that these people would go under the knife, they would get uh, surgery done, their face would be completely transformed. And when they would get done and heal up and they'd look in the mirror, they didn't see the difference. Why? Because their inner game, their mind, had not changed the way they saw themselves. So I, I want 
you to think about that for a minute. How do you value yourself? Because that will absolutely determine what type of decisions that you make. Because if you don't value yourself high enough, you won't bet on yourself when it comes to a business opportunity. You won't bet on yourself if you're wanting to, to scale up into your career and maybe take a higher position or get promoted. You won't bet on yourself to do everything that's necessary to get to that position because you don't believe in yourself. You don't value yourself, right? And so self-value is a, it's an inner game. It's something in how you view yourself. Do you feel valuable enough? Do you feel valuable enough to take a gamble and to wage on yourself that you're willing to do whatever it takes to be successful? Because if you're not, then that will predicate and dictate how the decisions are made in your life. You ever heard those things, you know, man, it, it just always seems to just keep piling up on me. Just all these things, everything, every time I turn around, there's something going wrong in my life. Have you ever thought about maybe that's something going on inside of you? Because random acts of events happen in every one of our lives. And at the end of the day, no one cares what happens to you. That's just your story, right? What really is the most important thing is how do you bounce back and respond from that adversity? And all of that will come from how you value yourself. How do you see yourself? Because you, you one of the things that I guess I never understood when, when I first got married, I always heard these um, analogies, right? That, you know, if you, your husband and wife are going to give 50, 50 everywhere, uh, husband, and wife give hundred, hundred or, or whatever else. Right. But what that does is it causes you to look at the other person to give you something that they can't give you. And I can't give to her what she needs, right? The only person that can give you what you need is yourself. When you understand that, because again, somebody in your life is you're going to have expectations that they're going to give you something. And if they don't give it to you, then you're disappointed. And, and so again, relationship, if you, if you want to understand the relationships that you have with other people, think about this, what type of relationship do you have with yourself? How do you view yourself? How do you talk to yourself? What's that self-talk going on in your head? When you screw up, you go, gosh, dang it. I'm so tired of this. I can't believe it. what a loser. Or is it something different? Is it you wake up in the morning and you say every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. I choose calm and I choose peace. My mind thrives on calm and peace. Do you have affirmations that are reaffirming and that are encouraging, or is it always the negative self-talk? Again, all this is gonna be built into your self-value. So I hope that helped you today. Decisions are made based on how we see the world and how we show up in the world, and that is all predicated on self-worth. How do you value yourself? And I hope you value yourself because there's only one of you and the world needs the best version of you. So by all means, show up and be the best version of yourself so that we can partake in that when we come in contact with you. So hope that's been helpful to you. Until next time, have a fantastic day.